Hey guys, it's Chris here from Solarproof. In this video, we're going to go through how to upload an interval data file into Solarproof so that you can use it as your consumption data. Now, we want to look at this section here, load profile. And if we click on from CSV file, it will prompt us to open up a CSV file to upload into the system. Now, when you're doing this, you need to make sure that the data file we select is in the right format to be uploaded. So this file here is what you typically see uh, if you're getting a horizontal file from your distributor. And if we select that file, you can see it goes straight into the system, no worries. We can get a preview of all the data and it works really nicely. Now for some files, they're not always as cooperative because they're not in the right format yet. So what we need to do is open them up. Now I have a vertical example and a horizontal example here that I'm going to show you. First of all, we'll open up this vertical example. Now, what you notice first is we've got date, hour, and kilowatts. This is about as complicated as it will get. So you'll be thankful to hear. Now, what SolarProof needs is a date timestamp in one column. So we're just going to create a new column called date time. And since this date is starting at the 1st of September 2017 at uh, the 15 minute interval of midnight, we're going to enter that in. So we'll type 1 slash 9 slash 17 space 00 colon 00. So that's the time that we're starting, the date time. Now, what we need to do is create a whole new set of date times all the way down our file. So for the next entry, we need to click on the cell beneath the one we just created. And we hit the equals button and select the cell E2 in this case, plus we want to add some time and in this case we, you can see that it's 15 minute intervals so we need to add 15 minutes onto that one so in this case we go 0 for hours comma now we're on minutes so we go 15 and no seconds and that's it so now that we've done that we can select the cell copy it and I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of this range and if you don't know how to do that Basically, we need to get into the range that we want to go to the bottom of and then hold down the control key and then the down arrow. And that will take us all the way down. So now I'm going to go into column E again because I want to select the entire range of column E so that I can paste that formula and it will run all the way down for me. So the way to do that is, again, hold control and you want to hold shift as well and then the up key. That brings us all the way up to where we started. Now I can just do control V to paste that same formula that I just copied and it's done. We've done our entire range. You can see it's ending at the 31st of August 2018 starting at the 1st of September. So we've got, in this case we've got a whole year's worth of data which is perfect. Uh, if you don't have a whole year that's fine as well but you need to make sure it finishes on the interval just before midnight and it needs to start at midnight. So as long as you've got those two bases covered, you're fine. So it should start at midnight, finish at the interval just before midnight. So in this case it's 23 colon 45, but if it was half hourly it would be 2330 and if it was hourly it would be 2300. So just have to finish at that interval and you'll be fine. Now the next thing that we do is just select this entire range of kilowatts. Actually, no, sorry, we're not going to do that because we're looking at this in kilowatts and what we want is kilowatt hours for solar proof. So we type another heading here, kilowatt hours. And in this cell, we're going to type equals this one over here the kilowatt value 62.45 and I'm going to do a time symbol which is the shift altered version of the 8k 
key on my keyboard. I think it should be the same on yours, I think. It's that little star. So C2, which is that kilowatt value star, which means times. And in this case, we're going to do 0 0.25 because it is 15 minute intervals. So that will bring us to a quarter of the kilowatt value, which will be the kilowatt hour value. Now again, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before. Copy that cell with control C, control down to get to the bottom of the range, control shift up and paste with control V. So now we have finished doing all our values. The last thing we need to do is get these two columns, copy the whole lot with control C. And what I'm going to do is paste special because I want to paste just the values and get rid of all the formulas and things. Now, if you look into this address bar, you can see it's all values and there's no formula in there. And then we just delete all the, all the other data. We're left with our data here that we created. And you just select file, save as, and we want to save this as a CSV file. So select from the drop down menu, CSV, vertical example, CSV, save. And that's it. So that's as hard as it gets. It can be a little bit of stuffing around in Excel, but it shouldn't take you too long. Once you do one or two, you'll be a master at it. So then we just select our CSV file for upload when we're in SolarProof and Oops, I've, I've actually loaded it up instead of uploading. So when we go from CSV file, we just select our file that we created and it should load in no problems at all. There we are. So loaded in, you can look at the profile and you can save it to your library. My new profile. And you're done. So now we're going to talk about the horizontal example which is a lot easier than the vertical you might be thankful for that so if we just open up our horizontal file you'll see it's in this horizontal format here now the only thing we really need to do here in this horizontal file is check what we've got and check to make sure that we're just limiting our values to E1 so with this one, we have B1, E1, K1, Q1. So we need to delete a few sets of ranges and just leave the E1 there. So B1, you might know, is for solar and you can kind of see that's what this is. It's like a solar profile. If I show you a chart of it, it should look a bit like a solar sort of a chart. And that's what it is. So we want to get rid of B1. We want to get rid of Q1. K1 and Q1 and the way I do that normally is I just go to one of these ranges here where there's no headings so from J onwards anywhere here and just hold down my control key press down until I get to the next range so there's the next range there it's E1 we want to leave that one alone I just want to select this row here and now I'm going to hold down control and shift press the up key and I just want to delete all of that just delete B1 do the same thing again here control and then down till I get to the next range which is K1 and because there's K1 and then Q1 that follows I can just delete everything from K1 onwards so I select the K where K1 starts control shift down it goes to the very bottom of the range. I just want to delete all of that. If I go back up, all I'm left with is E1 ending at, what is that, 23rd of May 2018, starting at 24th of May 2016. So I've got about two years worth of data and that'll go in just fine. Because this is already a CSV file, all I have to do is save it, which I've just done. And now if I go back to solar proof, we can select from CSV file again, get our horizontal example, and there it is. 
so that's as hard as it gets um, and you shouldn't have any issues if you do have any problems you can click this little help with interval data file and it'll go through what I've just gone through give you a couple of example files there to download of what you, your formats should look like and yeah you should be all good okay thanks for watching see you next time